Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial from Learn Microtech Configuration Series. Today we will discuss about managing bandwidth traffic by Microtech. Here we can see a picture of a network diagram. We will manage bandwidth traffic in our LAN block. Our Microtech router offers different methods of controlling bandwidth traffic. There are two ways you can manage bandwidth for your user. One is simple queues and other is PC queue, per connection queue. But there is no fixed rules how you manage bandwidth by these two methods. Managing bandwidth for a specific IP address is the most common practice of quality of service for most people. Even a novice can quickly implement basic bandwidth limitations for his user. With simple queues, you can control bandwidth based on individual IP addresses or you can identify traffic by packet types, including protocols, ports, source or destination IPs or layer 7 rules. With all these capabilities, you can build advanced quality of service by simple queues technique. In this section, we will only discuss on the most common use of quality of service and that is simple queuing. Each simple queue you create also creates several hidden queues in the background that perform the more complex function configured by the simple queues. Okay, Microtech Router uses a system called HTV or Hierarchical Token Bucket to provide all of the queuing and bandwidth control inside router OS. This is a common algorithm and all the QoS implementation inside router OS will be based on this system. HTV forms a hierarchical queue structure, so you have queues that are parents of other queues. Once a queue has a single child, then it is considered a parent queue. You need to use the child queues for your actual traffic. So you match traffic in your child queues. And child queues cannot receive more traffic than parent. And we will see in the configuration. HTV, the hierarchical token bucket, has two weight limits the limit apt and the maximum limit. This relates to CIR and MIR. And the CIR is committed information rate which is limited rate in router OS. And this considers a guaranteed amount of bandwidth you can commit to your client. And max limit in router OS is MIR, maximum information rate, which defines as during a best case scenario that I can flow up to this limit. Assuming that there is bandwidth available, the customers with only MIR or max limit will get what's left over in the bandwidth. Okay, let's see the configuration. We open our Microtech router. From the left panel, we have to click on the queues to configure our simple queues. For simple queues, we need to create a parent key first. So we have to click on plus sign. We have to give our entire LAN block in the target section. Let's see which is our LAN block here. This is our LAN. We have to give our entire LAN block in the target section. And we will give it name as total. And in parent case, we will assign full bandwidth, which we subscribe from high speed. So from we will select from the maximum limit to upload and download here, five MB. Download five. 
and from advanced tab we'll select on the limiter this is actually CIR committed information right and download as file in there okay and we have to click apply okay this is our parent keys now we will create child keys click on the plus sign we, we give it name to identify the user so i will just put user one and in the target section we give an ip address from our land block so i know my user IP address 250 in the target section and we will assign certain amount of bandwidth for each individual IP from our LAN network I will give yes, 20 max limit 20 to download and from the advanced to have Full 2 MB bandwidth. If we commit this client 2 MB bandwidth, then we have to give the 2 MB bandwidth limited. And if we commit this user 50% bandwidth, we will give this user only 1 MB in here. And in the and this child key is under our. Parent keys. Just click apply. Now you don't see the, any activities here. So you want, if you want to see the download activities, you just click on right click on the window and show columns. We have the downloads. Now you will see the download. If you use a consuming bandwidth. You will see the activities from here okay now we will create more child queues under our parent queues and give different IP address in the target section and give it a name to identify the user user 2 uh, we will commit this user 50 words in bandwidth so in the maximum limit we will give 2 MB but in the limit section advanced section we will give the user 1 MB so if the bandwidth is available the, this user will get the 2 MB but if bandwidth is not available the user will limit at 1 MB and we can commit this user 1 MB bandwidth and in the advanced section we will select parent so this child user also under our main parent queues okay now we will see some bandwidth activities and we will test by downloading something from our user one the user is consuming full bandwidth which we assign in the queues okay let's see a tricks here if we remove this queue from our parent queue let's go to the queues advanced tab and from parent select none you will see the bandwidth is dropped to 0 bps but it is actually consuming bandwidth from the parent queue 
because this user ID fall into our main time queue. So the queues are executed in order one by one. So when router finds rule that satisfy certain packet, next rules are compared. Move this queue to the top. Now you see the bandwidth uses activity. So it will check to the bottom item if rules are matched. So in this way you can manipulate your queue as required. So again go and drag to the bottom and select it under parent queue. So in simple queue you create a main parent queue with the entire IP block of your LAN and then all the individual IP address to your child queue under the parent queue we have created. This way you can create more individual IP address in your queue list and put them under the parent queue and this way you can manage bandwidth of your user just give them a certain amount of bandwidth and you can manipulate your queue as required hope you learned today's tutorial stay tuned for more videos in the series please do subscribe to this channel to get more advanced videos on microtech thanks for watching